Hey guys, welcome back to one of my YouTube Shorty episodes. Today I wanted to show you guys how to use the trimmer tool and specifically how to use the time compression expansion tool. So, um, let's see, I'm gonna need to open up one of these tracks to look at here. And I'm just gonna grab an audio file, maybe one of the sound effects. I'm just gonna, let's see, grab something that we got here. And I'm just doing this so I have something that doesn't have a fade on the end of the track. So I have this track here and you guys probably know the trim tool. So you can see up here that I'm in the smart tool because all three of these are selected instead of just the trim tool. And hopefully you guys know if you hold the F keys for these tools, so it's F6, F7, and F8. But if you hold two of them at once, then any two, then you go into the smart tool. So also we're focusing on the trimmer tool today. So the trimmer tool is F6. And if you keep hitting it over and over, it'll cycle between the three options. So this is the basic trimmer tool option. This is the time compression and expansion tool. So it says TCE if you click and hold here. And then we have the loop tool, which is this one. So the basic one, you guys probably know how it works. You can just trim the edges off a file and it keeps the file how it is, looks the same, everything like that. Uh, hopefully you guys know how that works and I don't really have to elaborate on it, but let me know in the comments if you want more elaboration on that. I don't know. All right, so then we go into the time compression and expansion tool, which is the TCE tool. So what this does is instead of just trimming the edges off of a file, it actually makes it, it stretches or compresses it. So if I take this and trim it with this tool, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all the audio that you see here on this clip and it's gonna squish it into whatever the size is that I make the clip. So watch how this happens. Cool. So the same idea holds if you wanna stretch it out so I can pull it out and make it longer. It's just gonna take that one audio file and stretch it or squish it to fit however I trim it with this tool. So that's how the TCE tool works. And if you guys are familiar with Audio Suite, we have basically the same thing in here. I think it's in here, yeah. So time compression expansion. It works basically the same way as this tool. It's just a little more complex to use, but you can do actual ratios. So this is why I like this sometimes. So I could do, let's see, I want it to be a two to one ratio. And then I just hit render. I have to have it selected and it's gonna make it twice as long. So you could use this window here instead. Again, like with Audio Suite and actually with the TC tool, it is destructive. So it is editing the, the audio file that you're working on. So to undo it, you do have to do Command Z or you have to go in later and find the unedited version of the audio from your audio files folder. So just be careful with that. It's not like a plugin where you can just bypass it easily. Cool, so that's the TCE tool. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. If you wanna hit F6 again to get into this loop tool, then you can actually loop things. And actually, let me make this guy shorter first. Let's make him really short. Cool, now I'm gonna go into the loop. So I hit F6 again. Now you can see that I'm in the loop up here. So I'm just gonna zoom out so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And just like with the other trim tool options, you just hover on the edge of the clip here and I'm just hovering on the top half here. And then when the little arrow becomes active, you can pull it out and you will see that it just repeats my clip over and over. So it's looping the clip really quick, really easy. It's a lot faster than like, you know, some of the alternatives or what you, you click on the clip in the smart tool and then you hit like command D to duplicate, right? And that makes it all separate clips blah, 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 blah. So it's a little faster than that. Um, and it's an option that you got. So that's pretty cool. Plus now if I wanna undo this, I have to hit Z, Command Z a bunch of times or highlight and delete, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, so that's the uh, trimmer tool and that's the loop option and the TCE tool. And again, you can click and hold to see the options here, but those are them. So that's basically it. I hope you guys found this helpful. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. And if you guys wanna connect on social media, my Instagram is Kato Noise. So we could connect there if you guys want to. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next week. Okay.